We're going to be working through shape one on parts designer level three. This guy is pretty symmetric, so it's not too bad. We're going to start by making the base. We'll make a rectangle that is, we can see here, it's 142 millimeters long. By how wide is it? Well, it doesn't give us that dimension, but we do know that uh, from this edge to here is 21, to the middle of this hole is 21, from the center of this hole to the center of that hole is 50, and because this is symmetric, the center of this hole to this edge should also be 21. So it should be 142 long by how wide? Well, 21 plus 50 plus 21 gives us 91. So 142 by 91 by how tall? 14. 142 by 92 by 14 tall. Good. Next, we need to fill at these corners. It tells us each fill has a radius of 10. I'm going to show you a cool trick here. Drag our fill it out. It needs to be taller. Uh, we said radius of what? 10. We're going to align these guys. I'm going to duplicate it. Click shift. Select this guy. Group the duplicate to my rectangle. Flip this guy over. 180 degrees. Then watch this. I'm going to ungroup this. These fillets are both uh, in the correct position. I'm going to click on them. Click Control D. Click Shift with my left hand. Group those duplicates to our rectangle. And then I'm going to flip the entire rectangle and then group the, uh, the remaining fillets to our rectangle. And we broke Tinkercad, so we're going to refresh it. There we go. Next, we're going to make these holes. These holes have a diameter of 18. All four holes have diameter of 18. Um, let's just deal with these first two. These first two are 100 millimeters away from each other, measured by their centers. So we're going to start by making this guy 18, right? That's what it was supposed to be, yes. Crank those sides up to 64, and now we need to duplicate this guy. I'm going to send this on over here. It doesn't matter really where it goes because we have to use the ruler to get the exact measurements. I'm going to put this hole on my origin. First, I need to measure through my midpoints. We're going to zero it out. Then to get this guy on the Y or the X axis, I need to zero him out on the Y axis. And the distance between the two centers should be 100. Good. I'm going to drag this guy out of the way. Now both these holes, I'm going to duplicate and send away from each other. Now, the set of holes should be 50 millimeters away from each other at least based on their centers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to group these two together. Then I'm going to group these two together. And then I know their centers should be 50 millimeters away from each other. So I think that's, that's all we need to do, right? Let's group all four of them together. And then we need to put it on this guy. I'm going to get these out of the way. I'm going to zero out my rectangle, and I know the center of this circle should be uh, 21 millimeters away from each edge. Now here's your thing. Uh, to actually get measurements on just this one hole, I'd have to ungroup everything. If I ungroup everything, then I'm moving things separately, and all the steps we did before this would be useless. So I'm going to do some math. Uh, I know the diameter of this hole is 18. So if I want the center of my hole to be 21 millimeters away from each edge, we're going to have to do some math. What is half of 18? Well, half of 18 is 9. So 9, hmm, let me think about this. 
It's going to be 21 minus 9. 21 minus 9 gives me, what, 12? So basically, the distance between here, the edge of my circle, and the edge of my rectangle is going to be 12 on each side. So I'm going to make this guy 12. This guy is already 12. Let's give this a once over over the top. Everything looks good. It looks like it should based on our drawing. So we are going to group that together. Good. All right, now this is gonna be kind of weird, but we're gonna make this cylinder. We're gonna set the cylinder in place, lock it in place, and then we're going to make the, uh, let's call these the supports uh, are based off the cylinder. So the cylinder is uh, 55 millimeters in diameter, 45 inches in its length. We should 45, right? And it should be 55 tall. Five. Great, that's what I wanted. 55, and this had to be 45. Crank those sides up to 64. All right, now it is centered. I know that, you know that. Um, we don't need to measure it, because I'm telling you it's centered. I promise it isn't that. But we do need to figure out how tall it should be based off of, uh, in this case, they give us a dimension from the top of our base to the middle of the cylinder is 58 millimeters. So we're going to, just to be safe, throw a work plane on top of our base, throw a ruler on top of that, click on this guy. We are currently measuring to the midpoint, and we want that midpoint to be 58 millimeters high. 58. Hope that was right. Yeah, 58. Give it the once over. Everything looks good. It should still be centered. Let's get rid of this work plane. Get rid of the ruler because it's annoying. I think we can group the. Yeah, we can group these guys together. Yeah, thankfully. All right, we can always ungroup them later. Now, we're going to work on this, uh, like, house-looking thing. So we're going to break it up into, uh, like, the body of the house, which will just be a rectangle, and then the roof of the house will be triangles. So body of the house is a rectangle that is 15 millimeters wide, 22 millimeters tall, and it's as long as our base. base what do we say it was 92 sounds about right gonna be 15 wide 22 tall I think yep let's go ahead and align that and I feel like something's off yep there we go perfect now I am going to, we're going to make the assumption that the roof of our house hits the center of our cylinder. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, make a square. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, we're actually going to duplicate this guy and bring it up top. And we're going to make this Get rid of the work plane. We're going to make the width of this guy the same, uh, just as wide as our, our cylinder. Our cylinder was 55, right? So we're going to make this guy 55. We're going to center it. Is that right? That can't be right. Unless that's what we need to do. We need to send it up how tall. How tall? Where? Well, where is the center of this guy based off of here? Center of this guy, 58 millimeters from the top of our base. So if this is 22, 58 minus 22, 58 minus 20 is 38. 38 minus 2 is 36. So this guy needs to be. Oh, look at that! What? All right. Uh, th this guy needs to be 36 millimeters tall. Um, now. We're, we're just going to get a, a triangle and make the top of the triangle line up with this guy, the bottom of the triangle line up with that guy. First, 
we're going to group this. Beautiful. All right, this needs to be 15. We need to rotate it 180 degrees. And oh, I wish I could. I wish I could measure that. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a work plane there. Drop it. Uh, we're gonna align it. Center, center. Let's see if it snaps into place. We might be able to, just because uh, we're good. No, it's not going to snap into place. Yeah. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to... Is it going to be 19 even? No. 19 is wrong. Try 18.5. We can only do this if it lines up perfectly. And it does, because we are freaking gosh darn geniuses. How tall should this guy be? No, 36. Yeah, that's the measurement that we had. Let's group this and see if it looks good. If there's any weird seams. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, we're actually going to ungroup that, duplicate it, and then regroup it. I think it's... Yep, turn it 180 degrees. Group that. And then I, I hate that it's turning it multicolor. That's too dark of a color. Let's do something a little easier to see. That'll work. All right. Hey, look at that. This is this is starting to look pretty good. Next, we need to make this guy right here. I think this should be a lot easier. Um, this triangle, that's 15 millimeters wide. How far does it stick out from this face? Uh, that is this measurement right here. It's 41 millimeters sticking out. And we're going to assume that it doesn't tell us the height. So we're going to assume that it, it just barely hits the edge of the face of our cylinder. Uh, so we know 41 inches in its length, 15 in its thickness. Say 41, I feel like that's not right. Eh, that's what the drawing says. Grain 90 degrees, we're going to center it. And I think we can get away with this. No. Uh, what if we said that it was symmetrical? <clears throat> what if we said it was 41 by 41? That's what we're going to do. We're going to say it's a 41 by 41. Because um, it doesn't tell us any different. Unless it does. But I don't think it does. Yeah, we're just going to assume it's a 41 by 41 triangle. Shoo, that means we can duplicate this guy, group the duplicate to our shape, flip it around, group that. Make it something a little easier to see. Then we need to put a hole right there. That hole needs to be 30 millimeters in diameter. Crank those sides up to 64. Now, if we uh, if we try to center it on the, in this case, the y-axis, it's going to center it along the entire object. Um, so what we need to do is, well, we could start on grouping stuff, but usually you screw something up when you start on grouping things, and then you get weird seams. So what we're going to do is measure how far down it should be from the top or we can measure how far up it should be let's do that why don't we do that um right the thickness of our base is 14 and then the center of the hole is 58 millimeters higher than the top of our base so 58 plus 14 68 plus 4 72 this guy's height should be 72 Ooh, i don't feel like doing the extra max we're just going to measure to the midpoint Make that 72. Let's see, does that look right? Yes, it does. We're going to elongate the hole, push it through our object, 
group it. Boom. Look at that. That is a beautiful, 